at Duncan Foster Engineering at, at Moorbank in South Sydney. Um, today we're doing digital engine balancing, so uh, for John at Unique Autosport, he's uh, got a VQ30, we're going to balance him up today. Um, how we start the engine balancing is to balance the rotating assembly first, which will be uh, everything hanging off the crankshaft, so pistons, rims, bearings, rods, pins, etc. So generally how we start, uh, we usually weigh our pistons and pins first. Um, so I'm going to scale over here from zero. So all we do, we're just simply weighing each one individually. And we'll do that. And if there's any differences, they all should weigh exactly the same with a good set of Wisco pistons. But we always check everything everywhere anyway to make sure it's right. So that one's half a gram over, so we'll be touching that up. Alright, so that's all. Alright, right, so with this one that's half a gram over, I'll just touch over. Just touch over. So what we'll do, when we machine a piston, we can't machine off the skirts or off the top or anywhere around there. All we can do is machine off just a slight chamfer around here because we can't make this pin boss area too thin because that's where all the load is. So we come over to our riding wheel. And all we'll do is just take a very light linish off those two edges. Just like that. Not much to it. And that's it. So the idea is, is not to weaken the piston at all, just to make the weight Right now. We'll come back over and check it. Right, and we're good. So that's the pistons. Um, now I've got a, a what's called a bob weight sheet which we write all our weights down as we weigh all the rotating assembly and then we calculate a bob weight which, which will be then bottled to the crank to simulate the weight that usually hangs off it. Alright, so we'll weigh our pair of Conroy bearings. Through weight at 33.5, uh, we've written down. We've got our circlips, which weigh at 2 grams, and we've got our set of rings, one piston, which is 27.5. Once we've done that, we can do our gudgeon pins. So we have to make sure they're all good. Right, we've pre weighed these pins, so they're all the same all the way through anyway, so we won't bother going through them all. Once we've done the pins, we're onto our rods. Uh, now, when you balance a con rod, you don't just balance the rod as a total weight, just like that, because you don't know where the weight's out. Is it on the big end or the little end? Um, there's a difference, so you don't just take it out wherever you want. So what we do to work that out is we weigh our big ends first. So we've got a fixture here that we zero the balance from. Scale on, and we slide that on the ground. What we have to do, we have to have this level right in the middle here so the weight's just pulling out nice and even on the scale. It's pulling on one side and giving off all three. So that's how we weigh our big ends, it's like that. So we'll go through all of them and uh, hopefully they're pretty close. Alright, so there's a little bit of difference there. And what we do when we're finished getting them all weighed up, we make the set to the lightest weight. All right, so if this one was half a gram over, we come over here and this is how we machine our big ends. When you're machining big ends, there's only certain areas you can machine. This area isn't one of them, so that's where your strength is, they're your ribs of your rod. So we can only machine around here, or just, just along the chamfer just here, and that's all. So there's not much room to play with that. So we can only machine it. So be careful not to touch the machine's parting faces there. And then we re-weigh it. Alright, so we've got 3.5. So we do that to the remainder, which we've 
already gone through and once we've done all our big ends um, they're all exactly the same which we've written down on our sheet over here we then weigh the little ends now to make the little ends all the same we already know that our big ends are all exactly the same as each other so I don't have to reverse that onto either side I can just weigh the total rod weight and whatever it is out I'll just take off the little ends only alright so Okay, so 535.5. Right, they should all be reasonably close. Alright, so we're all good. So all we've done here is once we've written down all our weights, begins our total rod weight, and that's our little end rod weight, uh, which is the difference in between your total and your big end, is your little end weight. We come over to our digital engine balancer and we type it all in. And what will happen, it'll give us a calculation. It's not as simple as adding the whole amount up, and that's your bob weight. There's a calculation towards it. So we'll put on all our weights, which I've pre put in here. Um, we've got our locks, which is our circlips, rings, pin, big ends, your little ends, uh, your insert, your bearings, your one pair of bearings. Uh, your oil weight, it, it also calculates the oil weight, uh, which is calculated off the diameter of the big end journal, which is 2.1 in this instance. Uh, we've got one piston per journal. Uh, it's not like a V8 where there would be two pistons and rods per journal, so that's why I'd ask that. So two, uh, one piston per journal and one rods per journal per throw. Uh, it's a balance of 50%, which is a central balance, a neutral balance. Uh, so we'll press OK to that. And that gives us our bob weight, 742.6. Alright, so once we've printed that out, we get that out of the printer. And what that gives us is on the left side here, you've got everything that's your reciprocating weight, right? Everything that goes up and down in your bore. So your piston, pin, locks, rings, your little ends. And that's your total weight there. And then once it's uh, worked out the total weight, um, that's where your 50% comes in. That's 50% of that reciprocating weight added to your total of your rotating weight. So everything that's, anything that's rotating on your uh, big end journal, your front rod journal, uh, which is your big end of your rod, your bearings and your oil weight. So that's your 418 plus 50% of the total of your reciprocating weight equals that total bob weight, 742.6. So that's what we'll be making the uh, bob weights up. That's how much they'll weigh today. And then we'll, uh, once we've made them up, we'll show you how to bolt them on and spin the crank up.